Hi everyone. Hiya. Sorry, a bit late coming on today, trying to get everything sorted. Sometimes, for some reason, I do find it a bit difficult trying to get on here for some reason. I think it's because I do it on my computer, but never mind. Um, <laughs> it takes a minute to sort everything out. It's all good. It's all good stuff. It's all good stuff. Yay! I think uh, I think I'm live. Yoo <laughs> well, guys, it's um, still a funny week. Still funny times here in this in this country that I live in. Um, we're still not out of lockdown now. A bit fed up living here um, with with this. You know, it's. Uh, it's a bit boring, uh, but I'm glad to say the nicer weather's coming, and yeah, I'm looking forward to coming out of lockdown, to be honest. it's It's been a long year, I think, for most of us. In the UK, you in Australia are pretty much, um, I think you're pretty much out of it, uh, so good for you, you know. Hi, Julia. Um, but yeah, it's uh, I've had an amazing week, guys amazing amazing week um i um have a friend who's his name's christopher christopher macklin he's a worldwide international healer and he's the real deal he can heal hi rebecca he can heal cancers um i don't really know anything he can't heal parkinson's and he's the real deal this guy you know and i i'm I have another show as well that I do with uh, the beautiful Diane Morgan with Unite in the Light. And um, anyway, this week, hi Caroline, hi Andrea. Well, anyway, Christopher, I've known Christopher for three years and we've never met in person, but he's one of the only people I work with that's English. <laughs> I either work with Americans or Australians and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but it's just really nice to work with somebody from my own country. But he is the real deal. And like I say, he's a true healer, guys. You should look him up. Christopher Macklin. He's um, under the Global Enlightenment Project. And if any of you are sick out there that are looking for alternative medicine, um, he's your man. He is the most amazing, amazing healer. Uh, so I want to shout out to him. Uh, today because it's good to spread the word. I'm not I'm not too uh, shy to uh, Spread the work for other healers psychics, you know, I mean they're good at what they do We're all here to help, you know as light workers as spiritual people So, you know, I'm like I said, I don't take myself too seriously um, And it's important. I believe that um, no, I like giving shout outs, but if anyone out there, and I feel I need to say that because I've got Michael in the house, Archangel Michael, if anyone's out there, does wants alternative healing, doesn't want to go down the chemo route, I'm hearing, he's your man, you'll find him, I'm going to say it again, and then I'll move on with the story, which is the Global Enlightenment Project, and it's Christopher Macklin Ministries, okay? Uh, a lot of people, you know, Maybe if you're spiritual anyway, you're going to have that concept of you can be healed without drugs anyway, you know, and he is the real deal. Well, anyway, cut a long story short, I was very honoured to be asked to do a reading this week for his wife. I've never met Amanda. Uh, in fact, I've only spoken to her a handful of times, not even that. And he asked me, would I, would I give her a reading? And, uh, oh, guys, it was an epiphany for me because um, before I did the reading and obviously there's time difference and things like that, uh, Mother Mary came in to me for the first time. Um, I felt her energy, like I feel, I've felt Christ's energy around me before, but to actually come in and talk to me, oh, my days, it was amazing. And the things she said to me were just, oh, I, I was crying my eyes out. Um, and how do I know it was her? Well, I'll tell you how I know it was her. One, because I recognise their energy, because I've she's someone I've worked with in a past life. 
She didn't even have to tell me it was her. I knew it was her. Um, and she said a lot, a lot of stuff um, personal to me, which I don't want to bore you with, you know, because, um, you, you know, I don't want to bore you with that. Uh, because I want to get on with the show and stuff, so I don't want to go off track, and Michael's pushing me to keep on track, so and that's what I'm doing. So anyway, she came in, and I always ask, if I'm not sure, I always ask whoever, whoever comes in, because you get the light and you get the dark, okay? And when you do what I do, you attract that. So I said, and she said it before I even said anything. She said, yes, I am of God and I'm Mother Mary. And oh gosh, she had me in tears, honestly. But what I'm getting to is I had this beautiful reading to do this week. And she had a message for Amanda. And it blew me away. It utterly blew me away. Because, you know, guys, when you do what I do, you don't know. I don't channel into everyone. I don't walk around the streets anywhere in the world and start picking up people's energy because it's really exhausting. So, and out of respect to people, I will only ever do it to the people that ask me. I will only ever do it to the people that give me their thumbs up that I'm allowed to tune into their energy and read them. Um, because that's respect, you know, and not only that, it's exhausting. <laughs> It's very exhausting to, to, to walk around this planet and just be constantly feeding and picking up everyone's energy. So I usually do it when I'm asked, you know, and I think that's respectful, you know. So anyway, I had this message for her. And like I said, I don't know what's going on in her life um, personally. It's, you know, some things are, are personal, you know, you don't need to share that with the world. Um but the message I gave her had her in tears. I mean, it just, she was streaming, I was streaming. Um, and it was such a pinnacle moment this week for me to have Mother Mary come in. But beyond that, um, I met her daughter. Now, when I do spiritual readings, I've been doing spiritual readings, guys, for over 30 years. I mean, I've done them mostly for free. You know what I'm saying? I've never charged. Now the t now's the time. You know what I mean? Now's the time to start my path properly. And I lost my job as a barber and to charge. So I've never, I can't remember a time where I've actually met a subtle, oh, I think maybe one time actually, Michael's telling me, I, I met her daughter. And it was so overwhelming for me and for her. She was in tears. I was in tears. Um, and I met her daughter. And she, I didn't know this, but she'd met her daughter in a meditation. Um, she'd done meditation. She'd come into her. Well, her daughter came in with my Archangel Michael. And it was so amazing because I was able to give her uh, messages from her un born daughter who is in the heaven plane in the other dimension and they I mean obviously they're personal I can't necessarily tell you what was said but all I can tell you was it was a massive massive insight for her to know how to cope with her when she comes to the earth plane and to understand a few things about her personality because you've got to remember when babies come in and young children you know they they can't express themselves. So it was an amazing, amazing reading. I just wanted to share that with you. Like I say, I can't, it's very personal what was said. I can't really tell you word for word what Mary, um, Mary said, mother of Mary, but uh, just to know that she came in and then I had the, the her unborn son that's incarnated daughter sorry incarnated into a soul I had her energy and she was talking through me to her mum it was absolutely phenomenal it really really was phenomenal and you know guys when you do what I do you know that is one of the high points and I just wanted to share that with you because it, it I just think it blew me away I mean I don't cry at every reading that I do <laughs> you know um but 
just a phenomenal and um, i felt totally blessed for mother mary to come in i just wanted to share that with you and michael wanted me to share that with you because michael's in the house um and he wanted to let you know that just because you know i only do this once a week my spiritual path what i do with the angels and spirit is every day guys you know it never ends it's an everyday thing and that's how i live my life um and that's you know probably why i have a partner but we don't live together maybe you know because i wouldn't have the time to give to the spirit realms and the angel realms like i do and I believe that's another reason why I wasn't meant to have children in this lifetime. And although I never got that at the time because I so, so wanted kids, you know, um, and I feel that, you know, things happen for a reason. We don't always see that, you know, we, we don't always see the reason why. I mean, that broke my heart at the time. I lost two sons. Um, I had to, okay, Michael, I, I hear you. Michael wants me to talk about this, okay, because he feels that somebody is going to see this or it, this is going to um, appeal to somebody that's going to either see the recording or is here today. And I lost two boys. They weren't full-term pregnancies, but I lost them. And they it devastated me, you know, I, at two different times in my life this absolutely devastated me to losing two sons i'm very honored that they are in the heaven realms they are with my family my nan my my dad's mum normally brings them in now i know that they sorry i'm just turning my phone off down for some reason it started going stupid um and my my nan brings them in and it is so beautiful when she does bring them in uh, because she brings them in together because they, well, one's in his 30s now and one's only about 12. So, you know, she brings them in and this person this is for needs to know that when you lose a soul like that, sometimes you get that soul back in another child. So if you've lost a pregnancy anyone out there that's broken hearted that anyone that needs to hear this because i know there's someone because mike was telling me know that that child can come back to you as a physical child just because you've lost that child in in a uh, miscarriage you can have that child back as a physical child you have to understand that as souls every soul comes in for an experience so that soul just came in for that experience to experience being aborted in the womb honestly that you know it's like another one you tick off the list guys um it does shock you to the core i mean shock is just you know, I can't describe it. It is beyond heartbreak, you know, to do, especially for me to lose two and have none in the physical. It's like, what are you doing to me? Why are you doing this to me? You know, but as I've come on my path, I kind of realized that maybe if I had had children, you know, I came solely here for the reason to, to do this you know, and to walk my path and being a mother probably would have so take so taken me away from my soul's purpose. Doesn't make it any easier though, but somebody needs to hear this. Somebody needs to know this, that if you lose a child, it's very, very likely the next physical child you have is that soul coming in, just to let you know that. Um, you know, I've kind of dealt with it, you know, I, I have, and I had my boys come in spiritually, you know, they're beautiful. My nan brings them in and I'm so gracious and so honored for that. Um, so I needed to say that, but it's been a fantastic week, guys. I just needed you to, to hear that. I needed you to, I needed to share my experience with you because you know i think with the spiritual realms you never know what's coming you can't plan anything you can't you think you think you think you're doing something you think you're heading in in one direction and then you whack you're swerved you're gone <laughs> in a total another direction you know and i have to remember i signed up for this as a soul and i do 
you know, accept that, you know, I lost my sons. It's, it's honestly, it was hard. It was, it was very traumatic time for me. It took me a long, long time to get over. But I don't want to dwell because <laughs> I've dealt with that. And my boys come in and I'm lucky that they see me, speak to me. And my nan, the little diamond that she is, brings them in. So, you know, I don't want to get, I don't want to bring the vibration down, but I just felt I had to say that. Um, so there you are, but what a week, what a week. Do you like me mug? <laughs> I just, I'm a, I just, I'm a big kid. If you get to know me personally, I'm just one big kid. So I love, love Disney. Uh, apparently there's an undertone that Disney isn't good, but it brings out my inner child. So anything that does that, guys, you know. Anything that makes you happy. And I think in this this time of what, especially we're going through in the UK, more than what you're going through in Australia. Um, you know, you've got to do anything that makes you happy. You know, absolutely anything that can bring your vibration up, make you feel good about you, but good about your situation, you know, it's highly important um, to do that, you know. <sighs> God, I feel like I've, I've just done a, a, a cleansing of myself, it's funny, isn't it? It's so, so funny. Yeah, exactly. And maybe, Sherry Lee, it's you that needs the message. Yes, maybe it's you that needs that message because I knew I was saying it. Michael was pressing me to say it because I don't know if there is guilt wrapped up in that, um, but that's how it feels. And someone had to, uh, you know, hear that. Um, and that's quite funny because you're saying he's got enough energy for two. <laughs> oh, bless him. And he's, he tells me he's five. Yeah, he's quite an old soul, though. He is quite a whole, uh, quite an old soul, I feel, though. Um, and you, I've got this kind of feeling that he tells you things that kind of blow you away. I don't know if that's true. Um, but it feels like he's quite an old soul as well. And this is the thing. You've got to understand at the moment, guys, I'm hearing Michael telling me that a lot of souls are coming in for quick turnarounds at the moment. This has been going on since the 2000s. Um, and a lot, of, a lot of younger souls are coming in as well at the moment. But your son feels like an old soul. He just feels like he's um, coming in for a bit of a fun time, which will uh, which will be interesting to see how he how he grows up, you know. But I knew I had to say something for I had to say that for someone out there this evening. Uh, well, it's my evening; it's your morning. But um, I hope. Uh, yeah, we have been locked down for so long. It's beyond a joke. Our government's corrupt. You know, we always used to be proud of Britain and uh, afraid that's not the case anymore, you know. But there is things going on here. There's a lot of uprisings happening, and but I'm not going to get political. But yeah, he is. Yeah, he, he I think you'll find, though, with him, you're going to have to. Um, what I want to say to you about him uh is the fact that you're going to have to suggest things to him he's a very free-spirited soul and you can't tie him down and the more you try and tie him down the more he'll rebel so just you have to suggest things to him you have to sit down with him and explain why you're while you're do why you are putting in barriers for him because he I feel that older he gets, he's going to feel like a very caged animal. Because if you're saying no, that's a red flag to him. Because he, because he, he just wants to grow up very quickly. And you know, you you find with old souls because they've been here so many times on this plane, they can't handle restrictions because they think they know best. They've been here so so many times before. So what I would say is maybe, yeah. 
try and not use the word no with him and suggest and tell him why you've got to do this because you know you are only this age because I just feel he just wants to he has no fear that's how it feels for me yeah but you see he's a star seed and this is what annoys me with the fact that you see this was my issue when i came to this plane because i couldn't read english and i couldn't do this do that oh she's dyspraxic dyslexic she's da 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 and on this plane they like to put you in boxes does it really matter no he's himself um and this is what annoys me in this day and age where they feel they have to um you know put people in boxes social boxes but the thing is he is a star seed he's come here for a reason and the fact that he's sensory processing disorders it's all new to him he he's probably incarnated from another planet you see another star system um and i just remember as a child i was exactly the same and i know i'm on the money <laughs> um and you'll find with him that the simplest things confuse him but the things that you would have no idea he gets like that he he will get it because i, I mean for instance for myself i've been told i have trained i've i'm a trained physician to know about black holes about planetary systems rabbit holes and all the rest of it and you know all about it how do you know that? I, I have studied this for years. And I had this professor who's, who goes around the world talking about all those type of things, time travel and all that. And I, t I told him and he said, how do you know this? And I said, because I'm an old soul and because this is something we've been doing for thousands of years. But on this plane, they don't tell you that. And the thing is, what happens, he, he is going to fall on the, si on the simple stuff. Because I tell you, I, I couldn't even tie a tie or do my own shoes. But what I can tell you is that I could read letters and numbers put together. And I could tell you what it said in English with the letters instead of the numbers instead of letters and the letters back to front. And Stephen Hawkins did it. And I could read that straight off like that without e like easier than English. So understand you have incarnated a star seed um and that you know they have a tough job because what's going on in the world you know these beautiful beautiful star seeds are now coming in off the back of crystal children rainbow children you know uh star seeds and they've got a tough job to me they've got the toughest job of all because now they've got to show us the way they've got to keep us in the love connection in coming from heart you know so i'm glad i was on the money i do kind of feel like i've given you a reading in a way but through your son um but just know that you you have a special one there and all i can say to you is just try and help him grow but in the right ways and not in the because as we are a star as star seeds we do not uh, we don't do with restrictions, you know. Yeah, sure, sure. Connect with me, and we'll sort of time. But I feel there's more to say, just about not just about him though. But sure, I'll give you, I'll give you a reading. No, no problem. But for some, Michael just wanted me to jump on that because I think these days, you know, we do. We're in these social boxes. You got OCD. ADHD, da 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 da, da 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 da. No, these souls are coming into this earth, and they've probably only reincarnated in the, on this plane for the first time, so they're struggling with how they should be, and that that's where it is. Because I found it, I found it very very difficult. I also couldn't understand. I also couldn't understand this regimental. You've got to do this at this time that and this time because you know in other star stars galactic star systems time you know is a man-made thing so to come here and have to be governed by time drives me crazy and here they turn night in today so i don't do that i'm a night owl for that for that reason you know yeah he 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 literally will yeah exactly 
because if you look at, at the Enochian language, which is the angel language, um, I understand that more so uh, than I do um, like uh, with, Eng with English. And I, uh, since a child, I always put an E that way, like a three. I use a three as an E. And at school, they said, oh, she's dyslexic, da, 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 da. No, it's just the fact that that's how I used to write. And I've had to come here and learn this way. So if you've got kids that are coming in right now that are struggling with the fact, um, you know, with these these social boxes, that's why. That's, you know, they're, they're like hybrid beings. They, they're not... They're not made to come in on this this regimental system if you've got to fit in a social box, you know? I mean, it really annoys me, but, you know, it's it, it's the way it is. I mean, it's like age genderization. It's like you're 50, you can't wear a short skirt, look, have long hair and look good. Why? Can't have long nails, you know? Why? Don't put me in a box. I'll do what I want when I want. You know, and that that's me and your son is exactly the same and you'll love that about him as well. The thing is, I've got to say as well, oh, no, getting political. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, you know, the drugs, MMR jabs, you know, they're stinting the brain cells as well. Uh, they are causing autism. Sorry. Um, you know, you think you're doing right by your child, but you're, you know, but I don't want to go there. Um, and you, yeah, you see, thank you. My son was put on, put on a box at age of five from school and wanted to put him on, I can't pronounce that name, Rietalin. Now he's 18 years old, he's such a beautiful soul, but very stubborn. Yeah, because he won't be pushed about. That's not a bad thing. I was wondering raising him wrong, but I am so glad I'm raised. Yes, you are. And this is what you've got to understand, guys. You know, all these star seeds are coming, probably incarnating to earth for the first time some of them, you know, and it's totally different planetary um, thing for them, but the thing is, what they want to do is put you on drugs, so it, stint, so it stunts your growth, um, you know, because we're made on this plane, and I, I can't help it, I am getting a bit political, sorry Michael, uh, but you know, you come to this plane and they say you're sick, you know, you've got diarrhea, have a pill, you've got headache, have a pill, no, you can, you can uh, totally, um, you know, keep yourself free of all illness, so without a drug, without popping one pill, you know, and this is, it's, we are, we get so manipulated on this plane, and like I said, I don't really want to get political, but I've just had to say it, just because, Andrea, you brought that up, and it's so true, good, Good, Andrew, because the thing is, sometimes I, I got on here tonight not knowing what I was going to talk about. Michael said, get your ass on there. He's so funny. Get your butt on there and just talk because I channel what he wants me to say. You know, I call him Mr. Bossy. Um, and if there's people, he knows better than I do that people are here on the live stream listening to me. They know. And there's two people we've served today. Uh, without necessarily even giving spiritual readings for, but I have, uh, but it, it, it is. Um, well, you know, you probably thought in your heart, Andrea, that you were doing the right thing for him. The thing is, with any type of drug, it just brings on more side effects. And, you know, but don't feel bad because you have to understand that we're, you know, a lot, a lot of people are just waking up at the moment. You know, I had somebody this week connect with me and he said, I've only just woken up solely. And I said, look, it doesn't matter. You think yourself, you, be grateful you've woken up. It doesn't, it, do, do you know where I'm at with that? It doesn't matter. Or oh, like people say, oh God, I'm 65 and I've only just got on my spiritual path. Doesn't matter. You're on it you know, and that's all that matters, um, good, do not give him anything, guys, look, I'm gonna bring up Christopher again, because I just love him, and he's the real deal, believe me or not, check him out yourself, uh, he does weekly healings, and he's amazing, um, he asks for as little as ten dollars donation, uh, and he only offers for a donation because he is, um, you know, he's an organization that has to uh, work on donations. So, um, but he's the real deal. 
Um, so if any any of you have got underlying issues there, please have a look at Christopher Macklin Ministries and have a look at the Global Enlightenment Project dot com because he's the real deal. And I swear to you, if I hadn't tested him and I hadn't um, had had the goods, experienced the goods, I promise you, I would uh, not be, you know talking about him to you i wouldn't be it's not plugging it's just telling you you know passing on information um but i'm gosh i am always been quite healthy but uh i had issues with lower back i had an entity attachment and he got rid of it all and i've been so amazing since as well um you know my, my um because with a, an entity attachment it can back up your adrenals and it can stop you functioning in your t toilet properly and also it's like having a devil sat on your shoulders telling you how rubbish you are so he cleared everything he sorted me out and i think you know michael wanted that god source wanted that for me because they said if you're going to be working for spirit you need to be clear of everything which is what happened so you know that's what that's what happened and that happened about three years ago yes i have to do my prayers yes i i have to make sure that nothing's coming in but yeah yeah i can live with that if i'm free <laughs> if i'm free of all that um but yes you know we are conditioned on this plane i'm i'm afraid to say but you know we've got to stay in our sacred space and do what's right for us and that's where I'm at with that, guys. You know, I I come on here, I, I I'll give information, but I, I'm not. I don't want to ram it down someone's throat. Either you know, use the information to your, you know, your for for yourself for your highest good, or don't listen. You know, it's up to you. I'm not one of those people that uh, wants to uh, convert people. <laughs> you either, you know, it's just me. I don't take myself too seriously. But Michael was, you know, wanting to talk about that today. I actually didn't know what the heck I was going to talk about. Um, so that it's very interesting. But guys, if, if you, any of you want readings or advice after the show, you can co connect with me at Susie Parrot um, on Facebook. Um, all my stuff's there anyway to connect with me. Um, or you can connect with me at angeliclight.suzyshuzip at gmail.com. And I will assist you because I'm always open. I'm always here giving advice, whatever it is. Because, pardon me, that's what I signed up for. And I think with us, I think with us soul workers, we do kind of feel... Um, you know, we do kind of feel that we haven't, we need, to, you know, we sometimes it feels like you haven't got enough time in the day to, to assist others and yourself, you know. Oh, that's so beautiful, Casey. Um... That is so, so beautiful. Uh, he's, oh, You probably have known him before, though, Casey. It's very probable he could be another... Because this is something... I did a podcast about it once. Um, I do believe that you can reincarnate into the same family. And it is probable he could have been your brother in a past life. Your son. You know, he could have reincarnated into your son again. Um, Christopher helps autism, believe it or not. And he's actually, his adopted daughter is autistic and he's uh, had amazing results with her. But I'm not plugging him anymore. It's just the fact that you said that. Oh, that's lovely. Um, that is so lovely. I just had to come through. Hi, Laura Lou. Um, oh, thank you, Casey. You know. Because the thing is, as souls, guys, we can ask for the people we meet in our lives when you come back down. You know, when you do your life, your life's plan before you come on this plane, you can ask who you want in it, you know, and how you want them in it. So, you know, it is very, very probable he could have been your son in a past life. And that's where I kind of feel, feel that I'm getting or a brother. That's the energy I'm getting. Woo! 
Wow, my beautiful people. Thank you for joining me today. Sorry I haven't got around to many readings as such. Um, just, you know, Michael takes me where I want to go. And, you know, he is Mr. Bossy. So, hi, Ben. So, uh, it is very much like that. <laughs> he, he tells me what I'm saying, what I'm doing and everything else. So, um, but there's a, a reason for everything. And I think, I think with, um, us as we are you know we because we don't see a physical something in the physical we don't always understand why we should be doing this and why we should be saying that but there's there's always a reason and i feel like i've served a few people today uh on on certain issues that michael wanted to talk about so so there you go i'm just gonna have a bit of my coffee I don't know about you guys, but I'm struggling with this flipping moon energy. It's been horrendous here. It's been really heavy during the days. Really, really heavy. I mean, I feel like I had the weight of the shoulders, uh, weight of the heavens on my head and shoulders this week. It's just a real a, oppressive energy here in the UK. I don't know what it feels like with you. Um, Heather, darling... I need, normally need a bit of time for spirit to come through, certain spirit, um, I usually, usually need like a private reading for that one, because it's not fair on them, because if, they, you know, if your dad did come through, I'm sure he'd want to speak to you for more than a five minute or a mini reading, you know, um, Casey, I'm glad it made your morning, darling. Like I say, you know, as a light worker, my 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 job is endless in helping people, educating people. I am a teacher as well, um, you know, and help people awaken and see people. And as a coach, spiritual coach, I I help people see things in a different perspective. I mean, that's one thing when I do my spiritual readings. Uh, I usually a lot of healing goes on. A lot of healing usually goes on within my readings because I can be the mediator of what the other person uh, is saying from the other side to them. And a lot of healing can go on. It's very magical. And like I say, to have Mother Mary in this week just ooh, blew me away. <sighs> yes, it is been an amazing few weeks because i've had christ in as well which is kind of wow that's another story for another day yeah they're all dropping in at the moment i think as reassurance and giving me love and to show me i'm on the right path i'm doing the right thing because i think all of us are very much sometimes like am i doing the right thing am i going in the right direction so it is nice that um Guys, if who who wants a card, just flash up because um, I can't. It's a bit of pain in the neck to scroll up because there's so many message. Um, yeah, sweetie, you can. I can mentor you though. Um, as a spiritual coach, I can take you further. It's like a mentoring thing I do. So it, it my my coach. My coaching comes, it, it's like co coaching mentoring, uh, which comes under the form of teaching. Um, but I usually, Michael helps me with that. And I usually do every, every uh, body I do is tailor made to you. So you will be my, um, yeah, so what I'm teaching you, what I'm showing you is tailor made to you literally and michael helps me with that because he knows more about what you want than i want believe it or not um but i work i don't always work with michael but um i do pretty much at the moment he's kind of my gatekeeper uh because if not i get totally inundated with spirit as you can imagine um so michael comes in and he's the gatekeeper uh, which i'm very grateful for God, the energy. I'm so hot, guys. Woo! It's hot energy. 
I'm using the Angel Deck by Curl Grey. And this is for Laura Lou. Gosh, it is fun. I'm going to have to go and get it. <laughs> it just went from... Oh! Guys. Oh. Oh, that is interesting. I'm going to pull this back. I don't want you being blinded by the light behind me. So that light behind me really blinds me. So I got in a child... Oh. Inner Child Healing. Um, I kind of think Inner Child Healing comes from, maybe there's something from your childhood that is, plagues on your mind quite a lot that you might need healing with um, and release. That's how it feels for me. And I think, I think also you need to take not responsibility uh, for your part in that, I'm hearing, or what, whatever that scenario is, but to allow yourself to, um, to forgive yourself in a way. You know, if you weren't the perfect child or you, or, or you played your parents up, you know, it feels like it's coming from that energy. It's like you just, you know, forgive yourself for the part you played um, and, and drop any guilt that's attached to that. And I think also with you with you I, i'm coming in on that energy of you know it is have some fun you know pull up that inner child and have fun and it was funny because you know a minute ago i was on about my inner child you know um and i think a lot of us at times in our lives you know it doesn't hurt us to to go back to our inner child and have a bit of fun and and do what we you know i'm not saying do what we like to do when we were kids but coming in on that energy of you know why not be silly why not be stupid you don't have to be serious about everything in your life you know just because you're an adult you just don't have to take everything so seriously um and this is where i feel michael's coming in on and and there's one thing i've learned um on this path and on this journey with the angels is like give your worries to them i don't really worry about anything anymore um i just say angels can you take this from me please can you deal with this and i know they've got that my back i know they're working for me in the background and you know sometimes i can't see the end of 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 what that outcome is but i know they're working for my highest good and I kind of feel with you that you you just have to go and have some fun you know I just feel like at the moment life's been a bit I feel like you've had it from all angles in a way you know you, you it's like I feel at times you felt like it's like life's getting on top of you it's coming in on you and I feel this is a reminder to go and have a bit of fun and do what makes you happy get back to you because you have to understand you know, you are in control of your sovereign self, you are in control of your mind space, and you are in control of what makes you happy. And if you're allowing other people to come in and affect you and take away your happiness, then you have to reevaluate. I'm hearing. Very interesting. And it is about you just getting back to doing something you like for yourself, you know? Because I do, you like, you definitely like nice things. And you do, there is a certain pride within yourself. But you do kind of wear your heart on your sleeve. Bless your heart. So I feel like, you know, spirit are reminding you to not take life so seriously all the time. And, and you know, have have some fun. That's what I'm hearing. Go, it feels... <laughs> It feels like I'm being shown put the roof down on the car. You know, like, get the wind in your hair. Don't worry about how your hair will look after it. <laughs> Just go and have some fun, and that's what I'm being shown. So I hope that resonates with you, honey. I hope that resonates with you. I'm going to use this deck again. God, I tell you, the energy is so hot, guys. I'm, like, boiling. I'm like, ah. Hi, Marie. 
you can have a card. I'm using, I'm drawn to still use the Angel Guidance deck from beautiful Carl Gray. Um, Michael tells me off, uh, I have to use British um, people's cards as well, because I'm always using American. He said you have to support, so I am. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, I'm glad you needed to hear that, because that was definitely what they wanted to say to you, sweetheart. So I hope that really helped. <laughs> I hope it did. Marie, I feel you're a, I feel you're a very spiritual person anyway. I don't know if you do what I do. Um, sorry, the cards are just jumping all over the place. Do excuse me while you see my pattern. <laughs> um, because I kind of feel... Now, I've pulled this card, Strength and Guidance. It's a beautiful, beautiful card. And I kind of feel like Michael doesn't look anything like this. But I feel he's coming in and saying... I feel like you're a bit blindsided and I feel like you know what you want but you're not getting it that's how it feels or or it's the fact that you have these ideas but you don't know how to implement them Michael's saying just call he wants to work with you if you're not already working with him um and he yeah I hear you gosh and he's saying that Please be careful of what you're thinking because it feels like this is adding to you being a bit blocked of in what way you want to go forward with these certain ideas you have in your life and it feels more than one and it, it really, really feels more than one. But what's interesting on the back of this, the other card I pulled for you was actually the manifestation card. And Michael's coming in and saying, you are manifesting, but be careful what you're thinking on top of what you're thinking, because it can block actually kind of getting what you want. So, you, OK, I'm hearing you just need to ask the universe once for what you want. And that's it. It feels like you keep asking and in a way it feels like you keep changing your mind. Um. So all I'm saying is, is that ask the universe what you want. You can just do it the once and but make sure you know what you're asking for. This is where I feel he's coming in on because you are actually manifesting in the right way. But you need to be not assertive, Michael. You need to be um, fully. Oh, he's annoying. I didn't catch what you said, Michael. Give it to me again. He's saying to me, I already said it. I said, well, I don't know, because it came in and it went. Um, you have to be really um, precise about what you're asking for, is what I'm hearing. Thank you. It hangs me out to dry, this man. Um, I hope that helps. I hope that helps because I kind of get you're a good manifest. You're good at manifesting, but just make sure you're, you're directing what you're asking and stop changing your mind with it is what I'm hearing. I really hope that helps because <laughs> I feel I, I feel there's so much coming your way. Just have the patience for it to come to you. OK, I really hope that helps. But I'm I'm hearing I'm hearing that for you. Gosh, where does time go? Um, Donna, 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 Donna. Um, I've got the uh, daily guidance deck by Doreen Virtue because Michael told me to pick them for you. That didn't resonate with me. the energy is so hot. I don't know if you can see me, but I'm like absolutely feel like I'm sweating. <laughs> Michael comes in with such warmth, but then I'm not moaning because I can't do the cold. So, wow. Um, yeah, 
That's fine, Marie. Okay. Okay, my darling. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, I've, I've just been told to pull one card for this lady, but I've shot up and I can't see the lady's name. I just wanted to see a name. Donna. Donna, Donna, Donna. Um, I pulled a lovely card for you. They are very powerful, these cards. Very beautiful the way they look. It is an old Doreen Virtue deck, but that doesn't matter. It's a card of acceptance. And I really kind of feel that it with this card um i don't know if you put yourself down or you're unsure of yourself it's what well, i can't make my mind up which it is but it feels like i feel like in the past there's been a lot of people that have put you down and pointed out you're this you're that and the next thing that's how it kind of feels for me um, and it feels like this has kind of been a bit damaging to you, and it would be to anyone, I suppose, but it feels, it feels like these people have put you down to make themselves feel better. You are a very gentle soul, you're very sensitive, and you're very loving and giving, and I feel that these people have come in about you at different times in your life, and put you down, and I feel for you it's been a very kind of shocking experience because you're not like that you don't understand it you don't understand why somebody would do that to you or say that to you and it's I feel like it's knocked you and knocked your confidence in the past um but it's weird because this card is acceptance and the actual card says see yourself as others see you but it's not how I'm feeling because I feel you've had to fight to kind of find you to kind of feel that you're not what these people were saying to you and this feels like it's been over a period of quite a long time um so I feel that you've literally fought your way out to find out who you are and I think you do accept you who you are and I think you've come to that pinnacle in your life where you actually get to that you're at that stage and you do think well it's not my problem this isn't me this is a lack in themselves and what I'm hearing is if you're not at that stage you have to see that that if people are coming to you with this behavior and they continue to to be like that with you it's a lack in them and that is the message today um to let you know that that if these people keep coming into your life and uh, are putting down or snidey comments or you know it's a lack in them and no it's not you that is the guidance I'm hearing today for you um, and I think you know you have to love yourself enough to realize that and ha and you know have you know who you are so I think for this acceptance card it's not about you accepting yourself I think it's others that have to accept you and that's where I'm at with that and that is not necessarily what the card says um but it does say that you inspire and lift everyone in their highest potential and i believe that because your heart is so pure and you're so big you you know your heart's so big so i hope that resonates with you honey um i really do it's just funny that that you know it's coming on another aspect of that card that i was getting from you from your energy so i i really hope that helped gosh honestly i think i need a shower <laughs> so hot well time's running on time is running on so, uh, honestly time just flies but i just had to share with you some of my angel experiences this week because this is what my show's about it's not about all about doing mini readings it's about uh enlightening people and teaching people as well you know so you know because i suppose there is many to any light worker, there's there's guys, there's many um um what's the word? There's many aspects to the gifts that light workers have. Oh brilliant, Donna. I was spot on, she's saying, thank you. I thought I was, darling, but it was funny how that card was you know what I mean? It was on about acceptance of you and I thought, Nana, you're accepting yourself. It's others that have to accept you, you know. And don't let them put your light out, Donna, because you're a beautiful lady and have a massive heart and never change yourself for others because it is a lacking in them. And as long as you know that, that's all that matters. 
um and that, that's my work done today with you i think um oh god the card the card the energy tonight is crazy right i have i have the card trust these are a beautiful deck they are very angel answers look i love them uh they are by Doreen virtue and ready valentine as well but they i do love this deck and it's trust and i'm kind of coming in for this for a general reading for everyone this isn't somebody i've picked out this is a general reading for everyone and i think people have to know that actually in this picture it's like jesus is in the picture as well and then you've got the angel in the background um but trust i think is a big issue for us all for anyone in my country and in many countries to know that the light the light will prevail and we will come out into the light eventually even though sometimes at the moment that doesn't feel like it and especially doesn't in my country um but that's the way that you know mike has been coming in at me that i have to trust release and surrender and give my worries to the angels and not get bogged down by the political stance in my country or any other country because the god source the prime creator know what knows what's happening knows what's going on and the light always prevails and this is where this card is like i say for for us all to trust that you know humanity will get where it needs to be even though all this negative nasty stuff's going on we will get to where we need to be yeah it's a very beautiful deck i mean a lot of people because um doreen you know is now got she doesn't do this type of thing anymore people are like, oh, i have to get rid of my deck and i was like no no because uh <laughs> they're my because they're my cards just because she made them or had her energy on them god love her they're my cards so i i still i still use them <laughs> um right one more before i shoot Oh, God, I tell you, I'm really hot, guys. If you could see me, I'm like on fire. <laughs> um, but, guys, if any of you want to connect with me, you can find me, S-U-Z-I-P-A-R-R-T, -R on Facebook. And my website is www.myangelitelight.com. Right. I just feel I want to do one more. Karen. Right, I've got I've got the Angel Guide deck again by Carl Gray. They are high vibrational cards. I like them. I can get around them quite easily. Um, okay, Michael. They're really they're quite new, so <laughs> it's sticking together. Right, this will have to be quick. Right, I don't know. Oh, I don't know what's going on in your life. Um at the moment but it feels like to me you're trying to control a lot of different things um it feels may i say you might be a little bit of a control freak <laughs> of your own life which hey i'm not knocking you because uh that was the way i used to be before i, I worked with the angels i was very much that way um and I kind of feel the message is for you. You're going to get where you need to be and you want to be in divine timing and not necessarily when you want it. Um, and Michael's coming in and reminding you of that. And just to breathe, you know, if it, it feels like you're very tense about things, you're very uptight. Um, the actual card is take a step back. And Michael's reminding me uh, and it's funny because I said this before I even did did a card for you was, you know, I don't worry about stuff anymore because I give it to the angels. And I know that they're working for me uh, in the background, okay, in divine timing and not Susie timing to, you know, work for me for my highest purpose. And that's what the angels do, you know. And I must admit, working with them, you just take all that kind of weight off your shoulders because you know you are you are um yeah i am doing you 
Karen, if it didn't resonate with you. <laughs> I, I just feel that you've got to just know that things are work, going to work out for you. Um, and it will come to you. It feels like you're wanting everything now or you're wanting a certain something now. Just know it will come to you when it's ready, when it's the right time. And, it, and not when you want it in your life. That's what I'm being reminded to say to you. And that it, it it's gonna it will come to you in the right time. It's just that it feels like you you want it now. <laughs> Whatever it is, I'm not being I'm not being and yeah, you're overthinking everything. You're trying to control everything. I know that much. Um, and it feels like you know that is like adding as a block as well because you're when you're in that mode of overthinking, um, it, it can bring frustration in as well. And control, which is quite low vibrational. So just, I feel I'm being asked to, you know, just remind you to, uh, yeah, you agree, good. Um, to remind you of what you're thinking, because, you know, anything low vibrational can block stuff coming in. But Michael said, you know, it's going to come to you, but in divine timing and not when you want it to. And that's the annoying thing with divine timing, because... You know, you can't see the wheels or the cogs turning for it to come to you. You can't see that. Um, but Michael's reminding me to tell you, just know it is. Just know it is. Uh, because it will help you. And that's one thing with manifestation that I think a lot of coaches don't tell people. Is the fact that to be calm, chilled is one of the best ways to help bring what you want to you. And you've just said it. I see, I'll chill. Yes. Um, because, you know, anything lower vibrational frustration energy is, is low, it is lower vibrational energy, so it can act as a block, so that's where I'm coming in with that, and just breathe, you know, it feels like you're trying to control everything, so just breathe, it's going to be okay, okay, um, and that's what my card was, you know, just, and give your worries to the angels, guys, you know, that's what you need to do. Um, any woes you have, ask the angels to take them from you because that's what they do. That's what they're good at. And trust that they will work to your highest good. Well, guys, I'm two minutes over. Um, thank you for joining me. It's so lovely to have you here today. I hope you enjoyed my show. I'll be back next week, 10.30 again. Um, yeah, I will paint more, breathe and smile. Yes, yes, because we are meant to be here for a good time <laughs> as well. So, guys, I just, you'll find me, you know where to find me, S-U-Z-L-I-P-A-R-R-E-T-T -T on Facebook. Connect with me or my Instagram, Instagram, angelitalight.sp or www.angelitalight. I've done that wrong as well. Never mind, you know where to find me, Susie Parrott. But love you guys. I hope I've uh, helped and you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye. Bye, darlings. Bye.